Welcome to Aggregate, an open source Python library for solving actuarial problems with aggregate probability distributions. This video explains more about specifying exposure. Okay, so again, we're in the JupyterLab environment. As always, we begin by importing build and uh, QD. And we're going to be exploring a few more things that are in the test suite, the uh, knowledge that's uh, built in. So if you do build.knowledge, um, get the database of all, all of the stuff. If you actually want to see that with a bit more um, interesting kind of commentary, if you will, there's a, a, a function called test suite, which will just uh, read back the file for you. So you can see there's a number of different sections here. Um, we've done some of the basic examples with uh, frequency and dfreq and dsev notation. Um, we've been through the um, frequency options. Uh, we've been through the severity, some of the severity options. We've been through transforming severity with shifting and scaling. And today I want to cover um, specifying exposure. So to find those distributions, we'll do build. Uh, Q show, and uh, this actually takes a regular expression, so I can find all of the ones that are. They're all called F something, so I can find those uh, like this. And uh, as always, if we actually just want to run these to look at them, uh, we can run them with show here, and it'll crank through for us. So um, this is, goes back to my time as a reinsurance pricing actuary. Um, often you have a spreadsheet and you would have a loss pick for an account, or you might know how much exposure there was on an account, or you might have a limit profile with a premium and a loss ratio. And then separately, you've got a severity. It's not always convenient to use the format that we've used so far, where you just input the number of claims. Uh, often it would be better to actually just be able to input a, uh, an expected loss amount. So the second version here, the second syntax, does just that. It's simply, rather than specifying a number of claims, we specify an, an expected loss of, yeah, in this case, 500. And uh, now here, we don't have a limit on our um, severity distribution. It's uh, unlimited, so the severity is 50, so we're still going to get 10 claims. So this is exactly equivalent to the, the previous uh, version. And then we can also use uh, a loss, uh, that's generated from a premium and an expected loss ratio. Um, so a thousand premium or prem at a 0.5 loss ratio, um, that will give us again, the exact same thing. And then a, a newer version that's not in this uh, file is you can also do uh, with a unit rate. So if you're doing something like um, a commercial auto, uh, where maybe you know, you've got um, say 200, uh, exposure. I could, had to call it exposure rather than, you know, is it revenue or units or square feet or what have you. Uh, 200 exposure at, say, uh, 5,000 a unit, again, working in um, uh, working in thousands, so 5,000 rate. Uh, severity uh, 50 with a CV of uh, 0.8 should be pretty lightweight for a, a severity. So we look at that. Um, and let's see, exposure we need ads. Okay, so if you have a syntax error in your DECL language, it will attempt to give you uh, an error message that explains where that occurs. Uh, the error is occurring after the three arrows here. Um, so it's 200 exposure at uh, a five uh, rate. And uh, that's going to give us um, obviously a uh, $1,000, uh, 1,000 units of, of loss. Uh, severity of 50, claim count of 20. So those are essentially the four ways that you can specify exposure. The claim count directly, the loss. If you input the loss, it figures out what the severity is. In this case, it's easy because we said 50, but if we had a limit or some excess on here, you might have to do some work. And if this was a complicated mixed distribution, that could be quite tedious to do. So it does that for you and figures out what the claim count needs to be. Um, you can input the premium and uh, a loss ratio. Again, you know, it's, it's, it's not doing much work, but it makes it easier for you to use uh, the software. And then finally, uh, you can input a, an amount of exposures. 
and a unit rate per unit of exposure and have it, again, figure out the required claim count to hit the loss amount that you want. So four ways of inputting exposure. Thank you.